Guys, today is finally the day. Alright then. There we go. You guys know that every time we hop in the Subi, it's gonna be a fun day. And we definitely have some exciting stuff today. But first, thank you, Chino, for the red ship knob. I'm gonna go ahead and throw that on right now. Perfect, there we go guys, check that out. Red and red. So we're just about ready to take off. It's gonna be a really fun day guys, something that I've been waiting for for a long time. But look who's here. We got Onguito and Camacho. You ready? Let's go. Ready or what? It's an exciting day. Alright guys, we'll see you when we get to Ruben's house. What's up Ruben? What up? <laughs> Javi! What's up? What's up man? So we made it to Ruben's house. We got the STI in the garage. This is Javi's daily. This used to be Ruben's. And then Ruben got this one. So that's now his new daily. And this is Ruben's bug eye. This thing is clean guys. Check it out. Brembo's six speed. I don't know if you can see that in there. He's got some sick ass bride seats in there. Check that out, guys. And this is Javi, the one with the GC. This is Ruben's brother. Oh, I can smell. It's like guava with like. Oh, that one? Oh, oh I thought it was the, the gear oil. Have like, you ever smelled the gear oil? The white one? Yeah, the one that goes in the tranny, the dip. Today we're gonna be replacing the power steering rack on the STI. This is something that we've been planning for such a long time and it's something that has been an issue with my car since the day I got it. So, we already did an unboxing on this, but we have the power steering rack that's gonna be going in today. And uh, I actually don't know how to do it, so Ruben and Javi are gonna be showing me how to do it. So I'm gonna get some hands on. We also got the white line bushings and the white line outer tie rod. So we got everything that we need to go ahead and replace this. We actually got super lucky today because in the forecast it was supposed to snow and then last minute it changed so we were able to make it down. That crack actually helped to get the jack in there. No way. <laughs> <laughs> What I did here is what I usually do at work is I like to lock the steering wheel with the seatbelt on there because once you take the steering rack off and you disconnect it, it'll spin freely and there's a possibility of ruining the clock spring and that's expensive so just it's just a cheap free locking mechanism. <laughs> This is your luck. I found mine though. Yeah. It's on top of my microwave. Oh. It's gotten so much worse, too. Camber game. Oh, shit. Where's your future nest, dude? No! <laughs> oh, that's horrible. Oh. One trip back home, and that's it. I'm gonna go ahead and start taking off this plate right here. It has uh, four 12 millimeter bolts. And then Ruben is going to disconnect the sway bar on that side. There's a plate. Look how greasy it is, dude. It's just been leaking. Oh, yeah, it'll swing down. Oh, 
probably not supposed to be like that. <laughs> huh. Do you see how it has a cotter pin? Yeah. You just gotta sneak that one out. Alright. Is that man's string? Boom! <laughs> So like right here? Yeah. So you just gotta hit it right here on the knuckle. All right. And just, even if you hit this, it doesn't matter because we're gonna replace it, All but right. just, you know, right there. Here goes nothing. There you go. Hey! <laughs> well, it's loose now, so let's put it back to where it was. Right there. Mm -hmm. And then we can take it out. And then, oh, so you see, know how far. See, so it's gonna point up. So you're gonna count it. You're gonna turn it, loosen it, and that's one turn. Okay. So you're gonna keep going, and every time it points up, count it as one turn. Okay. So it's at one turn right now. Sixteen. Yeah. Sixteen. <laughs> so just we're gonna mark them down. Over okay. Sixteen. Down with sixteen. Sixteen. Yeah. Almost Almost progress on that thing. <laughs> just lick it off. I hear it. <laughs> Turn the rubber, Danny. Straight? No, like spin it. Uh, a little more. Right there. So right now, Javi is just uh, punching out the pin that holds in the axle, because uh, it's gonna make it a lot easier to get into the rack with the axle boot out. Go. Mm. It's like you, you should see the, like the, the steering column goes into the into It's like the a rack. little stub that comes out of it. This thing right here? Wiggle that and try to wiggle it out of the, the steering rack so it falls down. There you go. Oh! You have room to put. Hey, damn. Oh. Hey! So it's all torn, both sides. <clears throat> I gotta send this back, actually. Oh, to get it. Uh, so I can get a warranty. Oh, I think. Dude, which one's the one that looks really? Okay, hey, now we're gonna try and center the new rack. Oh, okay, perfect. We're using kind of like this cardboard piece, right, and then hook up a sharpie to the end of that and draw a circle, just to make sure that we get it centered correctly. No, we're gonna we're gonna center one of these lines once it's a full line. Come on, my guy. Does the ch does Chungus know the way? Is that it? Yeah, that's full line. All right. There's one. One. Two. two. And three quarters. This is three quarters, so half is right here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey! Woo! <laughs> it's time for the new rack to go in. I'm gonna feed this through. Javi's gonna hold the steering wheel straight. And then I'll go ahead and connect this part. And then from there, just the four bolts that we took off, we'll go back in. Right now we're doing the get your home alignment, Ruben calls it. So what we're doing, since the uh, power steering rack actually had the threads a little longer, um, it kind of threw it off. So if you guys look right here, this is actually with the steering wheel sitting straight. So as you can see, it's poking way too out. So what we're gonna do is kind of eyeball it, get the wheel straight, and then tighten it down like that. That's like a good representation right there of what the blue looks like in the sun. 
Yeah, after this. So I gotta bring it in, right? Yeah. yeah. Guys, so power steering rack is officially in. Thanks, Ruben, yeah. Javi, George. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> it's still not gonna be 100%. Um, we still have to get an alignment, but I'm just gonna wait till I get new tires and new wheels to do that. So this will probably be the last time I drive it until I actually get all that done. We're gonna wash our hands and head out to go eat, but let me know what you guys think about the install. This is first of many suspension parts that we got to fix on the STI, but so far, really happy with it. We didn't really pick up the camera after that last clip that you guys saw, but we were able to get the STI back home. I'll tell you guys, I definitely need an alignment after that. Um, it started getting super shaky and higher speeds, but glad we were able to get it back home. Before we do the alignment though, I did mention that these tires are completely shot, so I'm not going to be driving the car any longer until I get new tires. Um, I also want to place an order on some new wheels when the time comes. While we wait for the new wheels and tires, I definitely want to keep working on the suspension. So while the car is in here, we'll be ordering a couple of little things that I want to go on the car before the alignment. But right now, roughly I'm aiming for like two to three months before we have everything that we need for the STI to be aligned. I know that sounds like a long time, but I guarantee you guys that it'll fly by. I'm just super excited for what's to come. I can't wait to drive the STI in the summer i think all this work is definitely going to pay off but i'm glad that we got the first step done and that was the power steering rack that was the most important thing super excited guys give this video a thumbs up if you really enjoyed it and in the meantime while we wait we have a little project going on right here can't tell you guys too much but you will find out within the next week and a half to two weeks anyways guys we will catch you in the next video peace out